Good morning and welcome to 59 Minutes. My name is Levi Kones. <coughs> Apologies. <coughs> My voice is a little bit uh, raspy this morning. Uh, it looks like a Monday, but it is a Tuesday. It is the uh, 12th of July, 2022. There are less than 30 days to the elections, actually just about 26 of them now. And joining me for our discussion is Dr. David Matsanga, Pan-African Forum Chairman. Good morning, Dr. Ali Karibu. Good morning. Good morning. Thank morning. you very much. How are you doing? How are you? 27 are days you they say to the election. Yes. Uh, if you discount the days for campaigning, we're only going for like 24 of them. Because there's three days yeah. people will not be able to campaign. And so much is happening. I'm very sorry that we have begun late. It'll be a bit of a technical issue. I hope that we can resolve that uh, going forward uh, uh, completely. But as we say, the show must go on. It is Tuesday. Uh, we just had a, a, a well-deserved holiday. I think many of us welcomed it. Children have just gone back to school. Uh, the economy is uh, still uh, reeling. A lot of us still making a lot of complaints uh, about uh, the cost of, uh, of uh, food prices, uh, fuel prices, and things like that. And we still have an election. Do you think that, uh, you know, with the, with the way things are going, uh, you know, there's a projection by the IABC that there could be voter apathy. Uh, we have got pollsters, although I don't know whether you believe the polls so much, who are saying that, uh, you know, we could have as low a turnout as even 60 or 65 percent because we have got other issues going on. Do you think so, Dr. Ari? Let me start there. Thank you very much. First of all, I want to tell you I don't know why 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 I'm why why I'm being there is an echo, but now it is gone. Thank you very much. First of all, you can't. I just want to say good morning, all Africans, wherever you are. Good morning, fellow Africans, and I want to greet you in the name of Almighty God that we are here today. We have twenty-seven days, twenty-four three days off the campaign trail but i single-handedly stand and i still continue to stand as a lone ranger to say the elections in kenya were not well prepared well arranged well organized if you are baking a bread if you are baking a loaf if you are making a loaf a cake there must be ingredients must be all at par so that you can have a very good bread by i dr matsanga i'm not a voter in kenya i have i have witnessed observed monitored elections in 53 countries 53 countries across the globe and I want to tell you frankly that I have never seen such organization in my life that uh, so many things are still pending in court. So many places are still in doubt. People are not even, no, they don't know exactly. There is no, 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 no. I don't see the spirit of many many Kenyans, and you are talking about 60, what percentage did you say? Well, 65 percent. What do you mean 65? Well, uh, Kenya has never got any 65 percent. When did it get? Sorry? Where? Which, which election gave you 65 percent in Kenya? Time, it was 70. 70, yes. Yeah. This time it was... And the best we've ever done about, is actually 75. Yeah. Uh, this time it might be about 45 to 50. That's we are like that Yes, the, the weather, the weather is also a contributing factor. Please, I am telling you, when you go to observe elections in Istimo, do you know where do you know where Istimo is? Can I educate you a bit? Istimo in, in no not Asia, don't just say Asia, Asia is not everywhere. Istimo is in Indonesia. <laughs> but that's Asia. You can learn from the father. Istimo is Indonesia. 
is one of the territories that Indonesia had captured, which was liberated and it became a state in the United Nations. I went there to observe elections. I look at the weather. I look at the terrain. I look at the, the, the how people are. And you know, you focus, you sit down, you write your sheet, you are returning, you are return forms. You return the forms and say, this is good, this is bad, this is good. The vote apathy. The vote apathy in this election could be a, a nightmare because the IEBC chairperson is doing things at the last hour. The stakeholders conference should have been done a long time ago for people to correct mistakes. So what is he correcting now? Even if you make recommendations here, which recommendation are you going to correct? There are so many people still in court. There are some, an IEBC that does not make a decision whether the paper they are admitting is a degree or not. How will they know whether the paper they are throwing out is a ballot or not? <laughs> if, no, 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 no. Just look at, at, at it. An IEBC chairperson who is a lawyer stands on national television and tells people in Africa, educated people like me, maybe you Kenyans can listen to such garbage, but not me, that he doesn't know what a degree looks like. But he saw a paper. And therefore, that is what he has made a decision. Now, in some places, he has said something different. In another place, something different. He writes to the EACC to tell them that I want you to clean these guys. Send me clean people. The people are sent, the clean ones. He then says, I will not even use the clean report you wrote to me. Ladies and gentlemen, fellow Africans, this is not my election. I am Paul preaching to the Philippians. The letter to Philippia is, this is just, this is just an exercise that has already taken a wrong direction. We just, yes, we better, we better, we better be, we better pray highly. And I'm praying, I'm praying highly, my son, my dear brother Kones, I'm praying every day. And I've prayed, that's why God has left me on earth for 67 years. I'm proud to be a God-loving person. You can, I, I, I don't go around carrying a Bible like a Ruto, pray, carrying a Bible and then doing some things differently. Yes, I pray very and brutally. When I start praying, I pray brutally. There is a crisis. This election has a problem. This election was not well prepared. This election was underprepared. This election does not meet me to me, my pre-report that I can submit to the world is on the, as soon as the ballot papers are closed, the first petition will be in the court challenging the election. Therefore, let the Kenyans, let the Kenyans prepare themselves that something is still not, there, is no, there will be no fighting. But there will be an, there's no court that will accept the irregularities that we have seen here. Post this election. Oh, yes! There will be too many. There will be amicus, Kure. There will be several people. I have, let me tell you, Kones, I have now like 11 amicus, Kure guys. They are, they are going to go to that court. And uh, Kome, you, you know very well, Kebukati made a very terrible mistake. All intergovernmental organizations wanted to come down and sit down and say, what problems do you have? Chebukat went and listened to Ruto. And I can tell you the time, the date when they were talking on phone. Don't, don't play with an investigative man like me. I'll tell you. Well, it's not, you, you are not, you are not, you are a journalist, but you are not an investigative journalist. Please. So don't underrate an investigative journalist who has ever brought a chief prosecutor of international criminal court 
to court. I am the one. The evidence who here, Doctor. We, we don't have the evidence here. I am the one. Who, can you listen to me? I am the one who brought Ponte Clark. Do you know Ponte Clark? Do you know Ponte Clark? You do you know do you know her? Do you know her? I am the one who investigated her. She took photographs in Belgrade in Yugoslavia of witnesses. I brought the evidence to the Yugoslavian tribunal. I finished her. She lost her job. So don't play with a man who can investigate. So when I tell you, I know that Jebkat meets some people privately, and I can tell you where they are. So don't play about it. Let's leave it. This is for the sake of Kenya to conduct your elections. But don't try me that route, because I, I am not like you who, 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 who does not sit out and go out to investigate. I sit and I listen to people. So, so if, if we're going to move it a bit forward, Dr. I was going to ask summary, you. No, listen. In summary, Chebukati, Chebukati should have listened. Should have listened to all intergovernmental institutions. When they called him and told them, I have a problem here, I have a problem here, I have a problem here, I have a problem there. Let me talk like an editor now. You can't just go and withdraw. The chief justice was chairing that group. She was not chairing to hear who will win and who will lose. She wanted to hear the problems that the IEBC was facing. And then you go back and listen. Look at the paper printing. The ballots. Look at the manifest. I want to ask you, Mr. Mr. Connors, with a good watch. Luckily enough, you have also come to, to write books now. You are on also beginning following. You are, you are following your <laughs> uncle. What's the question exactly? Don't worry, you are you 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 are following my footsteps. I want to ask you, have you seen the manifest, the cargo manifest of those ballot papers? Because that's one of the questions. Have, no, listen. Have you seen the cargo manifest? I haven't seen the cargo. So do you know where the cargo? In the fact, cargo one of the things we were wondering do you know, was, no, listen. Was, do you know where the cargo? Do you know where the cargo came from? Have you ever gone? You you have you are a journalist in this country. You have been given a card by the media council, authorized to go to the airport and find out, take a copy of the manifest. I don't talk like a, a street fighter. I'm a street fighter, but I, I now I talk as an intelligent man. I take my evidence seriously. Look at the look at the go, 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 wait first. Go to the airport, to the cargo section. You will find go to London. Go go to go to the origin of the plane. There's nothing that can defeat me. My friend, I've wrestled with international agency. You can't defeat me. I wrestled with Ocampo and I brought... A, a, a lot of time, Dr. let me yes, rush you to something wrestled, else because I get yes, your point, wrestled, what you're saying, I wrestled, is that there are questions here that need to be answered. Finish. Can I finish my point? Can I finish my point? Please do. I wrestled, I wrestled with Ocampo and he ended up in disgrace. I wrestled with Jebukati he will end up in a committee. I am not happy. He uh, uh, highlighted the, what the issues could be, but here we are. We are headed to the, towards the election anyway. Go and ahead. there are people who, even if you told them that, they'll be like, you know what? Go ahead. There's no way we are Excuse going to stop Excuse going to, a, to an election. Right now, the, some people's minds are set. They just want to make sure that there's a new occupant of state house come what may. And anything said to the contrary is then deemed or seen to be something that is uh, uh, being used to delay the, to derail the possibility of no, an election happening. That's not, I am not uh, something taken I know. It's not going to be palatable. Now, let me ask you, you. There are opinion polls here, and those opinion polls, one wonders, you know, people ask themselves, because these polls have consistently placed uh, now uh, Raila as leading. I think for the last few weeks we have seen them, Tifa and uh, the other polls that are out there. Do, do you believe these polls? Yes, I have seen them, and uh, I have predicted my polls, which always come true. 
You want me to tell you where the percentage will be? Yes, because I teach children like younger men like you who need to be taught on opinion polls like you. You better come for a lesson. Opinion polls, yes, because you don't know. You don't know. You, you, you are like a root who doesn't know. He shouts from one mouth and then it's... I think that. today you are, you are yes. my case. You, you talk like a root. You are the same. You, you know. You talk like a rooter because you, you being a neighbor in the terrible, you have also behaved like a the same. Let me tell you. Yes. You talk, you talk opinion polls. Opinion polls are scientific. And the rooter is a scientist of plants. Sorry? He studied, he studied the plants. He didn't study this other science. That's why he's making so many mistakes. Opinion polls. You're not telling me, do you believe these polls? What are your polls? Yes. Yes. When the polls, when the polls were giving Ruto 70%, who was complaining? Nobody. I, I have my... Dr. Ali. I have my, No, I have my opinion. About opinion the, say? You haven't told us. My opinion, my opinion polls, Raila will hit the target at 54 plus 2 minus two and let's come back here on 10th you will see me I'll, yes 52 plus two minus two 54 percent with the voter turnout being 55 about 56 i've done my mother that in 2017 at this point in time raila was still leading in the polls in no, fact he led all the way to the election day Yes, but the server was not open. So let's go away from there. There was a technicality. And, and then, you know... There was, no, the Aida was leading. You can, those were the opinion polls. It was popular. But he could not have done his, 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 his homework properly. But I'm now telling you, frankly, mine... This is my opinion, Paul. Not, not anybody. Don't, don't put anybody on my body. Myself. Matsanga's opinion, Paul, is 54 plus 2 or minus 2. It will come to about 54, 53, 52 point something. Raida will win. Raida will win first round if you are still waking up today like you. Wake it up that he will win the first round with the votes of that nature. Okay, too many matters, isn't it? For example, voter turnout, especially in people's strongholds. I have it's... given you the voter, my voter turnout is between 45% to 56%. 45%. Between 45, let me teach you, my student, please, my dear brother, my younger man, my, my nephew, let me teach you between 45 and 56% voter turnout. It will be with the cold weather, unless you tell God to bring sunshine on that day. This cold weather, some people will not come out. Some will come out, but we encourage people to come out. I'm talking the truth. I want come out. It's, we, want, it's, we want we want a free and a fair election. We do. My criticism, my criticism here are not meant to make anybody hate me. I am just telling you the pitfalls of insanity. <laughs> that we might find a head in the court. If you, can read, if you can read the Wajir case, the Wajir case, you remember the governor of Wajir case, that went as far as the Supreme Court. I bet, I bet. That, that Justice Muiri, have you seen her sitting there? Visualize her picture, the way she talks. She's gonna talk slowly. We have a, a problem here. The one mm. go back, any Kenyan, go back. You know the problem with some people on Ruto's side. This tanga tanga small boys here. Some of them don't read. They have no material. They don't have material. But if you read the Wanjiu case, you will find that this is a classic example. People from your side are too focused on uh, history. The, the, we are focused say, on history. If you want to know the, the past, side, then the go side, to Azimio. If you want to know the future. Yes, the side of Azimio focuses on history. That's why we have liberators on this side and there are thieves on the other side.
We have liberated. Yes, we have liberated. Very... We have liberated us like Raira Amaro Dinga and Martha Karua. I That's a very Raira generalized Amaro statement, uh, Doctor. Yes, no, I am telling the truth. Most of the people that are crowding that side don't have even papers. Kwenda, unambia watu nini wewe? This is not very good. I want to, no, I to I ask am, you to give us am, your closing no. remarks because we are, for, we are out of time, for, unfortunately. For your, sake, for your sake, boss, for your sake, I've been very quiet and I've been very absent from this saga of some of these younger men. But if I started talking, there would be a tsunami. So let me keep quiet and I'm a man of dignity. Let's leave it there. The most of the people, the most of the people in Takatanga don't think beyond. They just come on Facebook like now to insult you. But they don't reason. The Wanjiu case is a classic of what is happening with IEBC now. And definitely any judge, any petitioner who's writing his petition waiting to put there. Have you heard of Wamutata? He's writing. He's waiting to put the case before the Supreme Court to say these things did not take place. An election is not one day voting. Election is a process. And once the process misses timelines, deadlines, the timelines were missed. So therefore we would be very hot and say there were some things that have not but if we go on even when you don't know where the, 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 the cargo manifest you don't even know how to spell the word manifest and then you come on social media to insult Matsanga who spells the word manifest even when he's going to die going to the grave you know you haven't seen a cargo manifest you don't know where the cargo came from even our flesh of God says he didn't know the papers were coming so who was loading these papers? Are these statements, the correct statements coming from IEBC? Why doesn't, you remember, uh, Mr. Mr. Kones, in my final statement, are you there? I'm here. I, 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 Oswago, 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 Oswago was my friend. We used to go out and have a dance in my nightclub called Yorshe. A friend of mine, we are a friend's partners there. He used to dance there. And I used to tell Oswago, you will be arrested. You hear me now? Mm, I hear you. Hello? Oswago, Oswago used to laugh whenever I could tell him like the way you are laughing. I used to tell Oswago that one of these days you will be arrested. Because in London, investigations have started of Mr. Smith, who has taken money and given you more money. Oswago could tell, Oswago could tell me, go and, go and drink beer. And I said, I, I, okay, let me drink, but you will be arrested. That is Mr. Oswago. The people in London who printed the ballots served seven years in jail. Their property, Mr. Smith and the, and the family, they have no property, no house. They had to go to National DSS, Department of Social Services, to get a house where to sleep. If you are joking and are thinking, and are thinking that this story will not come back, it is going to come back. I am not in an election. I am simply saying some of the things that Chebukati and I've been saying on this TV, and I want to thank you that this television we have. Sorry. If we are not class, there are so many petitions, 31 petitions in court, and we have 27, 24 days to campaign. And the Chebukat is now telling the court, which he refused. He refused Martha, Martha Kome, Justice Martha Kome, uh, 
my lord, 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 the lady, justice, to sit and hear how many of the problems he Now he's getting the court, the judiciary, to hurry up. They can't hurry up. They will be... Uh, the, 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 Dr. Ali, thank you very much. I think we've got all the, the points. We really are pressed for time here to, uh, to stop. Next time we will do better in starting out earlier. You are pressed for... You are pressed for time because you can't speak now. Sorry? You, you are, I've not had that. You just you just wake up and go and vote as Neo. Vote Rahiro Dinga. We're going to end up on that note. He has a very good uh, history. Mafakarua has a good history. And I'm not shy. I'm not shy. If I was a Kenyan, I would just go and give that vote directly to those people this other guy 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 who insults the president who insults the president Uru Kenyatta, who says he doesn't know him yet he knows him he says these good things i don't know some of the bad things i don't know yet he did them this one this one this one on get him out Ending it, we're ending it there. That's 59 minutes uh, for, for, for the thank week. We want to thank you for tuning in. So always a pleasure, Dr. David Matsanga. Have a have wonderful, wonderful uh, day ahead. And uh, stay tuned. We're going to be back tonight with the Opinion Box. We're going to be having uh, two gentlemen uh, from uh, ANC and uh, from and the UBA that, as that well. Before you conclude, before have a good you night. Conclude, uh, have a good day, sorry. Kones, <laughs> before, you, before you conclude... You call me to this uh, box at night. Box, I'll um, call it. <laughs> yes, I, I yeah. want that one. You come you with your gloves. Me. Cheers. Yes, I will come. I will come, and I will not come with gloves. I'm a peace-loving person. I want, I want peace, and I want Kenya to have peace. Please, I want Kenya to have peace. That's why I'm pointing. We've lost. We've lost. We've lost. Uh... Dr. Matsanga, we lost that, that link right there. But that's what it is. Have a wonderful day.